think basically this is a continuation of the Justice League story yep. to some degree. And I think it's gonna also going to be a reset for DC. And I guess they just came out and said it's no longer going to be DCEU. It's now going to be DCU. So it's not going to be the extended universe. It's just going to be all inclusive for all the DC comics. So I think this is going to be a starting out point for them. I know they still have Aquaman coming up soon, which is a continuation of the Justice yeah, League and, franchise. And the Blue Beetle. And Blue Beetle, which looks fantastic, actually. So Thank you. I wanted to get to that, mm -hmm. um, obviously, for obvious reasons. And um, that is a is a, 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 a huge there's huge potential with that what have you guys heard i mean do, did you guys dig the trailer and what have you heard uh coming out of vegas i uh personally don't think blue beetle stands a snowball's chance in hell of making money why are you so negative I, man? i'm negative about this you're crazy, I just, i'm sorry no no not just, just this one everything look, you're like look, you're like flash is gonna be, be crap Listen blue to me. beetle's gonna be crap this is why it's gonna suck because <laughs> nobody <laughs> Nobody outside of your comic book collectors give a crap about Blue Beetle. Yeah, but that was also true about Iron Man. It's not true. That about, was true about everybody Iron knows who Iron Man is. I everybody bet, okay, knew who true. Iron Man was. But and it had Robert got... Downey Jr. This is a Blue Beetle movie yeah. that nobody's ever heard of before. I will tell you this: I had heard of Iron Man. I used to collect comic books, but I didn't. Really I don't know give a about crap <laughs> about Blue Beetle. <laughs> I'm going to leave the room. It's a D <laughs> yeah, level, it. He's a D level hero who nobody's ever heard of and nobody gives a shit about. But, okay. And that's why we, this movie we'll, is not going to make it. Vader, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear, Paul. It's just. Oh, no, no. I, no, no. I, <laughs> no, I'm, I, I love it. So, so what about the popularity of Sholo and Cobra Kai? Yeah, you think any of his people are going to come for just to see him? I'm going to watch it because of him. That's why I'm watching the movie. I mean, I love George Lopez, but I'm going to see it because that kid in Cobra Kai is is awesome. I, I, I will say this, uh, getting back to Blue Beetle and, and yep. Vader's point about the, the movie not making any money. Um, I think that it might suffer from the Shazam syndrome, which, mm -hmm. is, which is that basically James Gunn came out and made Shazam and Blue Beetle completely irrelevant by announcing his reboot. So a lot of people out there are like, mm. you know, why should I pay to go to the theater to watch right. a movie that ultimately doesn't matter and is going to be erased? So like, I think that like Shazam, um, you're going to see people watch it on streaming mm -hmm. and it's going to be a small portion of the DC fan base because most people are just now in like a holding pattern. Uh, you know, they said that The Flash actually has an impact on the DCU. So people are going to watch that. Um, Aquaman, obviously, it's a sequel to like you know big DC movie, so people are going to go that mostly because of Jason Momoa, right. I think. Um, but all the other DC stuff until James Gunn's new reboot comes about, right. I don't think people are are going to tune in because like I liked Shazam too. Um, you know, I yeah. went and saw that. I was a fan yeah. of Shazam one, uh, but people didn't turn out for that because basically mm -hmm. James Gunn had come out and basically said like none of this matters because we're redoing everything from the point I take over. And so I think Blue Beetle, number one, it was a small movie to begin, to mm. begin with, an obscure character, even though you, you have uh, the kid from Cobra Kai in it. Like, he wasn't like a real breakout from Cobra Kai. Like, Cobra Kai as a concept yeah. is, is the star of that show. Um, and, and seeing all the legacy Karate Kid characters mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying he's not good in it. I, I love, like... Miguel and Robbie and like you know all those characters on but the show. But does he have a huge well, fan well, base of his Ma own? Miguel is is a draw. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think he's a draw because because he's not a movie star I yet. I think he's oh, just really good in, in the show. Well, we like him from the show, but he I don't know if he has like a a fan base. Well, well I mean, like this is a movie that was supposed to like bring him up to movie star level, right? But I feel mm -hmm. like because the the character is is a character that people aren't familiar with. Mm -hmm. I feel like the special effects in, in the trailer weren't all that great or impressive. And I also feel that mm -hmm. the James Gunn announcement did terrible damage to Shazam and this movie. Yeah. So I think that the movie's probably just going to putter out. It's going to be released and nobody's going to care about it. But as a, as a Booster Gold fan, I love Booster. He's one of my favorite DC characters. Mm. Um, um, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle I like Booster are, Gold. you know, two... Kind again, of like again, Vader poo poos yeah. this. <laughs> well, I, I like what you said. It's again, though, it's the same thing. I, I like but, what you uh, said, but I got to, you know, the reason I want, real quick, Polly, the reason why yep. I want to watch the movie is because I, I actually had no interest in Blue Beetle because I'm like, well, I, it's not a character I understand or know. But as soon as I saw the kid in the trailer, I'm like, oh crap, I love Cobra Kai. I'm going to watch this movie. Yeah, and true. the trailer was really good. So I do think that there's 
hope and, and optimism for this movie. And also okay. Transformers has a new movie out. And guess what? This this uh, the Blue Beetles skills look very transformery. So, I mean, I can see that audience. I think really it good. comes down to the charisma of this actor. Mm. You know, if he's able to pull off because it's a little bit different doing series. Right. You know, and I think Cobra mm -hmm. Kai is a little bit overly dramatic. The acting is a little bit overly mm -hmm. dramatic because I think it's mm -hmm. for a younger audience. Fair. Uh, can he actually carry a feature film? It's, it's a lot more subtle. Yeah, I guess uh, yeah. I'm, I'm one of those weirdos out there that I just I quit watching Karate Kid after season three. His charm ran out Ouch. on me. You, you mean you mean Cobra Kai? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, no. Actually, I stopped yeah, watching after like, season eh, two. Because it because it, it was like a joke. The first season was like a joke. It was like a comedy show. Yeah. And then the second se season, they started taking themselves too seriously. You guys don't know what you're missing. It's so good. It's so good. I, I, will, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Okay. I will say, I will say uh, the last couple seasons have been uh, just regurgitating mm -hmm. of Cobra Kai. That being said, I was still entertained. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters. You know, like those first couple seasons were like nines and tens. Right. The last couple seasons are just have seven, eight, sevens and eights. I'm still entertained, you know, but they need to wrap it up. It's too many care. You know, it's time. Yeah, it's time. Here's my thing with Shoto. Uh, he is a fan of cinema, a fan of movies. He grew yeah. up in the business. I actually know his mom and good people, really good people. And I and he's smart because he you guys alluded to that. He's no dummy. When he got cast, he he doubled doubled down on his uh, acting training, mm -hmm. you know, with uh, with coaches because it's like you know, and he even it said is it, a different world, movies and TV, right? Because he even said it, you know, you can't you you can only go so far on a cute smile, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. my dude, my smart dude. guy, yeah, he is smart. What, what I would love to see is a if he does well because me and Tom Connors and Midnight Judge actually willed willed. We're like, he's <laughs> gotta be Jaime Reyes. <laughs> I could see him. I could see him going very far as a leading man, and uh, I would love to see him take on Richie Valens in, in a remake Ooh, of La Bamba. Yeah, my goodness, I'd love to see that. Like, that like, I don't. Be... I don't have anything against the actor. I think he's a really good actor. I well, just don't think there's interest in this character. I don't think there's interest in Booster Gold. I don't. These are these are obscure characters that yeah, that the normies out there aren't going to care about and they're not going to come to the theater i wish i was blonde that. just so i could play so, booster gold does, you'd I mean, make a good booster you got the right face. i could see yeah. it yeah you know there's there's so many superheroes so much of it out there that people mm -hmm. i just feel like i'm burned out on superhero movies i don't care about these characters i didn't go watch shazam well no no no. you're burned yeah. out on bad superhero movies yeah, that's there probably is a true there's that's probably difference. true and you know there's all of these dc movies they, they're leading to nothingness they're, they were made before all these plans were made. Mm. You know what I mean? And they just, they're, they they got to get them out so they're out of the system and they can start over. Well, I'm glad to hear that so, this kid knows that he's got to kind of like change it up a little bit for the, the film. So. I think that's... Uh, Polly can play Bob in the La Bamba remake. Richie! <laughs> <laughs> no, Polly's too nice to play Bob. Yeah, we got to get Isai hard. back. He still yeah. looks good. Have you seen Isai yeah. Morales? Yeah, that's such a great movie. I, I will, really wanted to remake that one. I will fail those those tests every time because the only Spanish I know is what I learned from the restaurants. I learned to count to mm -hmm. 100 when I was a kid. Well, was yeah. Wow. Yeah. Was I, I was very impressed with myself. You know, <laughs> those, yeah, I, I learned I quite a bit. I was I actually <laughs> lived in Puerto Rico for three years. So, oh, did you? Yeah, I lived in Puerto Rico, and then I also traveled around South America. So did you? I, did you like Puerto Rico? Yeah, I, I actually loved it. And okay. uh, the one thing I learned, you always have to learn this, is donde está el baño? Like, that's the first <laughs> thing you learn, right? <laughs> you know, and, and cuantos costa, cuanto costa para un cerveza? Oh, oh those are the two. How, you know, you need a beer ones. and how to get to the bathroom. The gringo basics. That's yeah. it. That's <laughs> it. What you need. Put the machete down. <laughs> <laughs> that's All right.